Here's a covered bridge. There's Pro 3 wheels, Blue Bike and Doyle, and Glow Chicks. You used to be able to drive across this bridge, but not anymore. They even make bicyclists get off their bike because they're a bunch of weenies. This is a cool bridge at one time. But look at all the geese down there. Uh-uh. Well, I know I saw it. I saw geese. Somebody's talking to me in my helmet, if y'all are wondering what we're talking about. C D E D B D ducks, M R not ducks, M R geese, M R not, M R E D B D ducks. You ever hear that one, Beth? But they call it what was it? It was I was on TV, alphabet, alphabet yeah. Southern alphabet talk or something, okay. and it was like C D E D B D ducks, M R not ducks, and the whole thing was like that. It was hilarious. But this is the Elizabethan Covered Bridge. Famous for being in a covered bridge. <laughs> now that bridge, that's the new bridge, of course. And uh, they get a bunch of homeless people that live under there sometimes, unless they kick them out now. But you can kind of see the shoals over there. I don't know, let me see if I can zoom in. Got this really nice camera and I use my phone because I don't feel like digging everything out of there, out of the saddlebags. But I don't see any homeless people up there today, maybe because they're working on it. But this is a nice little park here. Hey Doyle, you know that road you came racing up and you said I was going slow, that's why. See that? They patrol that with state patrol the Sheriff's Department and the city. On our way out, uh, we were leaving Elizabethan and it was pouring rain and Doyle thought I was going too slow so he jumped up ahead and, and went flying. And I had uh, rain coming down on the inside and outside of my visor because it was fogging up so I lifted it up a little bit and uh, I didn't want to go too fast because I know that area. I used to live there, and the it's patrolled by the Tennessee State Patrol, uh, you know, Highway Patrol. It, it's it's patrolled by a couple of different counties that border that area, and several cities. And I've known a bunch of people that have gotten stopped and given a ticket for going like just a bit over the speed limit, because uh, they it goes up towards uh, Bristol Motor Speedway up to that road, and. Th a lot of the locals get tired of people coming for the race days and screaming down our streets and stuff. So they patrol that pretty heavy. I've gotten stopped there before, but when I lifted my visor and the deputy saw who it was, um, I won't say who he is, but we know each other pretty well. <laughs> and he just, he told me I knew better and to slow down, so I did. And generally, I try and take it easy now um, every time I'm back home that way. But that's why I was going slow. And then on the way back home, uh, we went back the same way to get a better shot of the bridge when it wasn't raining. And uh, lo and behold, somebody got stopped. And that's why I wasn't trying to go too fast. So <laughs> anyway, when somebody is from an area and they're going slow, take that as a clue. You might not want to get out ahead of them and take off flying because he's lucky he didn't get a ticket. <laughs> but anyway, this the tree here, if you can stop and pause it, the tree, um, it was there before 
the United States was the United States is before the Revolutionary War. And there's a sign and everything uh, from the Daughters of the American Revolution. It's pretty interesting history if you want to look it up and stuff like that. But the tree didn't used to have a fence around it. But with all the people coming and people were like chipping off pieces of it and, and damaging the tree. So they finally just fenced it and kind of like made a little mini type protection shrine or whatever you want to call it. Um, but anyway, there you have it. Hope you enjoy this covered bridge. Thanks, y'all. And remember, live your life with the heart of a Viking warrior. Bye for now.